Hey guys, Victor here with All Time Greats RC. I hope you are doing well as we continue to go through this pandemic. Here in my portion of Indiana, we are going to be starting phase two on Monday, May 4th. And that is going to allow us to open up certain things. Can't uh, wait to um, get to the barber shop. That's why I'm kind of avoiding the camera right now. It's been about eight weeks since my last haircut and I'm looking a little crazy right now. Big shout out to, to Mike O um, and JT, Triple Crown 24. The wisdom that, that Mike O showed having to stay with SGC and passing the baton over to JT, I think was a fantastic move, having JT take that PSA side over. He's young, ambitious. JT has a, a big heart and he's, um, uh, very well organized and I think he's more than capable to handle the, the workload. I wanted to showcase part of my PC. Now the advice that I've gotten from many YouTubers is take your time showing your PC. Don't show it all at once. That's why I've been kind of hesitant on, on doing everything uh, too fast. But I do want to share with you today my Clemente PC. Um, something that I've, I've really uh, enjoyed collecting uh, Roberto and um, there's a lot of history. My parents were bo both born and raised in Puerto Rico and so was Roberto. Uh, Roberto Clemente was born in 1934. My mom was born in 1944 and my father was born in 1948. Both of them were born in Puerto Rico. But as Roberto Clemente uh, went off into the major leagues and started his career, um, my parents remember vividly uh, Roberto Clemente and just the, the publicity that he got in Puerto Rico as he was heading off to the major leagues and, and the big following that he had in Puerto Rico. It was just something that... Um, was very exciting to my parents because they were watching it as they were very young children themselves. And they, I remember growing up and them telling me um, stories about Roberto Clemente and uh, the games that he was in or always, we were always, Roberto Clemente was uh, always, uh, I shouldn't say always, but Roberto Clemente was one that was a frequent conversation piece at dinner time in my family. That's why I've, uh, have a lot of admiration for, for Roberto Clemente and what he's meant to my parents and, and what he's meant to me. I'm going to start with this one here, Roberto Clemente, uh, 1969, Topps Deckle Edge. This was one, uh, I, I basically, what I am doing is the Roberto Clemente basic set registry. I'm working on that one. It's been a couple years now, but uh, this is not part of the basic set registry is just one that I wanted to show. I will start with the 1972 tops. Roberto Clemente. This was my last pickup. Very nice, um, beautiful Clemente. I was shopping for for one in an eight, but the, I really couldn't. When I was shopping for one, I really couldn't find one with decent centering, and I found this seven with just phenomenal centering and beautiful presentation. And I said, hey, what's wrong with a seven, right? Next up is the 1968 Roberto Clemente in an eight. Perhaps my favorite uh, Roberto Clemente card. Roberto, as some of you may know or may not know, but he was actually um, drafted, or not drafted, but signed by the Brooklyn Dodgers on February 19th, 1954. And by April of the following year, he was traded to the Pittsburgh Pirates. And when he started, he struggled quite a bit because when he went to Pittsburgh, he found a lot of uh, racial tension between the media and him, even some of his own teammates, there was some racial tensions going on. And, and the disadvantage that Clemente had was not only 
was he considered black because he looked black, but he couldn't speak English either. And so that just compounded the, uh, his frustrations. And, uh, but he made it through, learned the language, and, and learned to, to get along and made it work. Next up is 1961. Tops Bob Clemente. And a seven. I'm trying to get rid of this glare, so that's why I'm kind of tilting it. The Clemente was a 15 time All Star, 12 time Gold Glover, 1966 MVP, and is a four time National League batting champion. Just to name a few of his accomplishments. This 1960 Tops Clemente, this one I thought was going to grade a lot higher than it did. I sent this one in via Maiko's uh, subgroup. It's a beautiful card. I picked it up at a local card show, and I could have sworn that this thing was going to be a 6 or 7. Just the centering was impeccable. Very nice overall card. Corners, edges, everything was just so nice, and it come back a 4. I believe upon further closer inspection... Uh, and the center of it here it appeared to be somewhat blurry. And I, I think that is what hurt this one. Next up, 1964, Tops, Bob Clemente. And a seven. Beautiful Clemente card. I'm really taking these way out of order. I don't know what's happening here, but that's all right. 1957 Tops Clemente. Picked this one up at the last National in Chicago. I want to say I paid 150 for this one. Centering's really nice on it. Corners are a little soft, which I like on these because of the age. I believe... Uh, you know, some rounded corners here and there are okay. Just absolutely beautiful card. And I only have eight of the 20 of the um, set registry. Uh, but this one I'm especially proud of because I've worked so hard to get it. This one has been um, years in the making to, to pick it up. Um, very proud of it. One of my primary cards in my PC, but it's the 1955 Topps Roberto Clemente rookie card in a PSA 4. I was, um, wasn't really shopping for grades. I was shopping for cost and uh, within my budget, it was, uh, I just could not find anything really um, appealing. The things that I was finding were like extremely off I guess it was just a bad time to be shopping for it but this one came along and I found the centering to be very nice it's I would say 60 40 left to right and 60 40 top to bottom the color presents very well uh, this corner this bottom corner here is, is a bit rounded But an overall fantastic card. I do find the the bag to be yellowed quite a bit, but that that doesn't that doesn't take away for, uh, as far as I'm concerned. As a matter of fact, it is just all the better, giving it that pure vintage look and feel. Very happy to pick this one up. Very happy and very proud of my Roberto Clemente PC. Not done yet, but it's a work in progress, and I am just excited to continue the hunt of the Clemente Basic Set Registry. That's all for now, guys. I hope you are well. I wish you all the best, and we'll catch you on the next one.